Tonight, new overnight emails obtained by WIS Politics showing the escalating feud behind the scenes between the Wisconsin Supreme Court's new liberal majority and the conservative Chief Justice, which 12 News has documented. It's shameful, and they shouldn't be doing it. Now tonight, Republicans in the legislature floating the idea of a possible impeachment of the court's newest justice, Janet Protasiewicz, who flipped the court's majority to liberal if she doesn't recuse herself from a lawsuit challenging the state's legislative maps. Maps Protasiewicz called rigged during the campaign. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss today. My hope is we still will see uh, the Supreme Court justices who have prejudged cases saying that's not right. It's not the way our system of justice in America has ever operated where you prejudge a case and that they will recuse themselves from any potential case where they would be involved. If not, to me, that is a pretty clear violation of the way that all of America works as, as opposed to not prejudging cases. And it would be one we'd have to discuss. So if she doesn't recuse herself from the maps, you will begin. The I don't know. We have to wait and kind of see what happens. Impeachment proceedings in Wisconsin require a simple majority in the assembly and a two-thirds vote to convict in the state senate, both of which Republicans hold. The MAPS case could be before the court soon and a decision before the 2024 election. Protasiewicz has given no indication she would recuse herself. The court's new calendar begins in September. In the newsroom, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News. In response, Senate Minority Leader Melissa Agar in a new statement tonight says in part, quote, Legislative Republicans will jump over any hurdle to usurp the will of the majority. Considering impeachment mere weeks after Justice Protestawitz has been sworn in is utterly absurd.